Find me, Jose Monkey. You asked me to figure out where this video was recorded, so I did. Hi, I'm Jose Monkey, and I find people who ask to be found. It's Canadian Week! Guys, if there's a theme to this week, other than the obvious Canadian theme, it's that unfamiliar logos and brands make it harder for me to find these places. Before we get started with today's video, I'd like to do something else. I bet I can guess where you are right now. Okay, not physically, but I bet I can guess which app or site you're using to watch this. Check it out. If you saw this video yesterday, then I'm guessing that you're watching me over here. But if you didn't see that video and you're thinking, huh, what the heck is that? I didn't see that yesterday. Then I bet you're watching me here. And that's because when I posted that video here, the robots that moderate content looked at it and decided that there was something questionable about it. I don't know what, but the robots sent that video to Content Jail, where it's been waiting for an actual living, breathing human to review it and decide if it's safe to share with the community. And that video has been there at the time of this recording for nearly 23 hours. So that's why you haven't seen it yet. Meanwhile, the people over in the other place are enjoying that video quite a lot. Bro, that's ridiculous. People should just go watch on the other place. You make a good point, Chad. Okay, let's talk about today's video. So what can we see? This person starts the video by asking to be found and then takes the unusual step of asking a follow-up question. And while I've got you, I'd like to ask, what are the dangers of living a fully doxxed life, especially as somebody who wants to grow a following on social media? Okay, fair enough. I'll get to that after I find this place. At the start of this video, we can- Flag on the play! Bro was blocking way too much of the screen. Yeah, I suspect you're right. This person is blocking most of the screen for most of the video. And the text that's on screen for pretty much the entire time doesn't help either. Even in this frame, which is the one where they're probably blocking the least, according to the Monkey Tech Blockmaster 3000, they are blocking 65% of the screen. That is a flagrant violation. So you guys know the rules. This person owes me a video or photo of a cute dog or other adorable animal. So post that when you're ready and tag me. By the way, still waiting on one from you, Dan Povenmire. Okay, so in the few remaining pixels where we can actually see something, there are really only a couple clues. We have this business here that has what looks like a circular green logo. We can also see these buildings here, which look like apartment buildings or something like that. And there's another business farther out across the parking lot. And if we zoom in and flip it around here, we can see the words President's Choice. We can also see the start of another logo over here, and it looks like it starts with the letter S. I'll come back to that in a minute. Finally, we can see that this person is wearing a shirt that says Buttonville Flying Club. The Buttonville Flying Club is a community of aviation enthusiasts based in Toronto. So I thought that might be helpful. Okay, I had to figure out what these businesses were. President's Choice is a line of grocery products and services that you find at Loblaw companies. It didn't take me too long to figure out that this was probably a real Canadian superstore, which by the way is a ridiculous name. Real Canadian Superstore has about 120 locations all across Canada. So I was really hoping I'd be able to figure out what that green circular logo was. But guys, I tried and failed to identify that. And without that, I had very little to go on. Some of you may recall that in the video I did earlier this week, I was in a similar situation. I had one store I was looking for, a Canadian Tire in that case, that was near another store, which in that case was a no frills, but I did not know that. And I got lucky during that search because I found a different no frills location. And once I knew the second store, I was able to narrow it down pretty quickly. And guys, I would love to tell you that I was able to do that same thing here, but I was not. I started looking at real Canadian superstore locations near Toronto first. But guys, I looked at pretty much every one in Ontario and didn't find anything that looked right. So I branched out from there to look in other provinces, and I feel like I might have looked at almost every real Canadian superstore in Canada. But after a very long search, I zoomed in on one location and I saw this. Guys, that was it. You were in the parking lot of this real Canadian superstore in Edmonton, Alberta, Canada. So that green circular logo was for a service credit union. If I had been able to figure that out, I would have realized that this was most likely going to be in Alberta. And if I'd known that this was a service credit union, I could have done a data query to find only the real Canadian superstores that were in close proximity to branches of the service credit union. And that would have narrowed it down to like five places to check. So I would have found it very quickly, but I didn't. Anyway, here's a view of those buildings that we saw, which it turns out are condominiums. Also here are the storefronts themselves. And you were standing right over here when you recorded the video. Okay, I promised that I would answer this person's follow-up question. What are the dangers of living a fully doxxed life, especially as somebody who wants to grow a following on social media? Guys, what I would say to this is that as a content creator, there's always going to be a trade-off between creating interesting content that people want to see and not oversharing. Now, what that means for you is going to vary depending on what kind of content you create. But I would suggest that generally speaking, you should try to only include the things in your video that are germane to the topic that you're discussing and not include any extraneous information that may reveal more than you intended. That means doing things like not moving the camera more than is necessary and not showing anything on screen that isn't relevant. But each creator really needs to evaluate for themselves what they're comfortable sharing and what they're not. And then they need to be diligent about what they post to make sure that they're not sharing things they didn't intend. I'm sorry, I wish there was an easier answer, but that's probably the best advice I can give. 
Okay, it's time to check which previous location was closest to this one. And this time it was in Season 2, Episode 34, in Munson, Alberta. That's about 213 kilometers, or 133 miles, away from this place. Guys, Canadian Week is almost over, but I will have at least one more video for you before we're done. If anybody else wants me to find them, record a video where you say, Find me, Jose Monkey, or something like that, on camera, or hold up a sign that says something similar. And don't forget to tag me in a comment on that video.